Hey everybody, saw the sun was shining so I thought I'd come outside and give you all a quick update on our birds. So the robin in the box is still nesting quite happily, haven't heard anything from her, but we have been able to video the daddy robin coming and giving mummy robin some food, which is very nice. Would you like to have a look around my garden? Alright, come on then, let's go and have a look. So, in my garden, I love watching the birds. So I've got lots of places for them to eat and play. So I've got a couple of bird bars, an insect hotel, and here I've got lots and lots of places for them to eat. And this food here is some food that I've made, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Inside this bush, you can see I've put half of a plastic bottle and I put some of my special bird food that I make inside. The birds love this, especially the little ones that don't like to eat on the main tables. They like to be hidden in the bushes. So we've got a prickly bush in our garden. So the tiny little ones, the dunnocks and the blue tits and the robins, they like to eat in here because the big ones can't come in and steal all their food. So they've got one in there and that's just but if you can see that, that's just a little yoghurt pot there. And then I've got this one in my arch. They love this one. It's very, very light, so the pigeons can't eat off of that. So that's very good, because if they could, they'd eat it all up. Right, now down here, under this bush, I have put an upside down wire basket. And that's because some birds, they don't like eating with the other big birds flapping about. So they come in here and they eat from the seeds that I put inside. And then the other big birds, they can't take over and steal all their food, which is really nice. What have I got over here? This is part of my garden. Here I've got another bird bath. They like that. Needs a bit more water, I think. Needs some more rain. And then going down my little path over here, past the roses, my son Harry built me this um, bird table for his school project. And we made sure that we put some wire around here to stop the big birds and the squirrels coming and eating all their food. Right, let's go back over to my table. That's my house. Right, have a look on this table. So, this is what I use to make my bird food. So I've got a great big bucket in there and I mix up some peanuts and some bird seed and some suet blocks that I, I crumble up and put inside. And then I use a little bit of lard and I roll little food balls for them. They love this. This is what you could see hanging up in the bird feeders on the bird table, on the bird hanger. This one here. Oh look, there's a bird, blackbird already there. Okay, well, I hope you've had a nice little look around my garden. I hope you'll be able to get outside and if you live in an apartment or a flat or somewhere without a very big garden, then now you can get outside, go to the park, stretch your legs. But remember, always looking and listening for the birds. Which ones will you find? See you soon. Bye. back.